Next on the call to the stage is an uh, uh, artist, poet slash poet artist, who performed with us probably about three times. I'm going to call him to the stage. He's here tonight. He came out even though the weather was bad. So I'm going to call him to the stage. He goes by the name of Ross Roots. Put your hands together for Ross Roots in the building. Yes, good evening to everyone. All right. I really appreciate the large turnout and all that. You know, really, give yourself applause. You know, give yourself some applause. It's good to see some of you know. This poem I'm going to do is a poem that was really adapted from a book I bought about 25 years ago for 50 cents. And this book was called Blacktown USA by R.L. Keegan, the sociologist who went around in Watts and took uh, small poems from bathroom walls and school benches and things like this. This is one of the points. It's called Time for a Commercial. Friends, are you having problem trying to sleep nights, worrying about war, poverty, police brutality? Is that your problem, friends? Well, put an end to your sleepless nights. Use New Improved Democracy with Black People in it. New Improved Democracy with Black People in it is sure to deter riots and poverty, stop police brutality, and let you sleep so soundly that you won't want to meddle in wars or in foreign affairs. New Improved Democracy with Black People in it is guaranteed to work, not just for today or for tomorrow, but for life. So remember to ask for and use new improved democracy with black people in it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, my next piece is, uh, you would say, an original piece. This poem was written in 1981 while I was visiting Senegal and I was sitting on the banks of the Atlantic. And this poem happened. It's called, Here I Sit on a Ship. And to all who are conscious of the Middle Passage, this poem speaks to the Middle Passage. Here I sit on a ship, sailing across the Atlantic. This decision is not mine. I had no part in it. But still, here I sit on a ship, sailing across the Atlantic. Among the stench of filth, blood, and human vomit, in this dark, dingy dungeon, in the bottom of this pit, shackles so tight, suppressing my will to fight, no way to escape, no room for flight. I hear moans, I hear sighs. Oh, what a dilemma, what dreadful sight. Now here comes the captain with his big whip, filled with hate and prejudice a symbol of man's hatred and beastliness. My life now in the hands of Christian merchant capitalists. Still, here I sit on a ship, sailing across the Atlantic. What did I do to deserve this? Sun rays hardly shine on me, my skin is getting pale, no cool breeze on my body, no fresh air to inhale. Is this a nightmare or a dreaming? Is this a fairy tale? Still, here I sit on a ship, sailing across the Atlantic. My thoughts go weak. My whole life in a drift. All freedom now gone. My family I do miss. Hopelessness overcome me. Faith and courage diminish. Gone from my life, all joy and bliss. Still, here I sit, on a ship, sailing across the Atlantic. My brother beside me, to him I dare not speak. I've got to have humble, tongue in cheek. No rage or anger, I've got to play meek. Oh, what will be my destiny? What does the future hold for me? When will my freedom be restored? When we leave shackles, let me be. Still, here I sit on a ship sailing across the Atlantic. Thank you. <laughs> 